Hey y'all, what's going on? Thanks for joining in. A uh, super quick video tonight. And I wanna show you where my next project is at. Um, working on the Vision. Um, pulling the tires and wheels off of it and the exhaust, uh, making a new license plate bracket. Of course, when you pull off the exhaust, you got to uh, change the, or pull the oil filter. So might as well change the oil too as well. Uh, so let me uh, turn this camera around and show you what I got going on. Alrighty, like I said, pulled off the exhaust. That's getting Cerakoted. Uh, these visions are notorious for uh, being really, really hot on your legs in the summertime. So I'm going to Cerakote those and see if that makes any difference. I'm sure it will. Um, plus, I, I'm, I, I don't have a very good tuner on here. Um, I, still got the, um, I still got a timing wheel in here. Uh, I had a set of 4 degrees. And... For this particular motor, four degrees is too much, and when it gets hot out, uh, it starts pinging. Uh, so I backed it down to two for the summertime riding. And then uh, also, I got a PCV5, I think is what my controller is, but I want to get that, uh, oh, what's that called, the Max Maxim controller or Maxis controller, something like that. Anyway, you can get rid of the timing wheel with that other controller. So eventually, I'm going to get that other controller too as well. So hopefully with the Cerakoted exhaust, um, they can get a little bit more, to, uh, a little bit more snort out of it. I have an underdrive pulley. I think um, a lot of you already know that. And uh, anyway, I got the rear tire off, and I'm gonna get the front tire off here pretty soon, and uh, get those tires pulled off and put them on my uh, black rims that are up there. Uh, I got the I got the masking tape around them to protect them a little bit. But anyway, uh, put the black rims on there, and then I also uh, tonight did a license plate bracket. Here's the. Uh, that's the factory license plate bracket. That's what that looks like, that kind of thing. And this is a big, heavy powder coated piece of steel or something. So I made myself a, a aluminum one. And I also wanted to have it laid down, a laid down license plate too as well. Um, so I fabbed this thing up and uh, welded it up. And uh, so now I'll have a, you can hardly, you can barely see it there, but I'll have a laid down license plate frame now. The bolts that are gonna hold the license plate in place, they're late, lighted. So I've got one light that uh, shines on the license plate light, that, that one there, so that one's white, and then this one here is red. So you can either hook it up to your tail lights or your brake lights, uh, and that light will uh, shine at the uh, appropriate time, so to speak. That's what i got going on in the back back here, so I'm going to uh, take off uh, this lens cover, and uh, I think I'm going to wire those those lights to my brake lights. Because um, when my wife right is behind me, she says you know, she always have a hard time seeing my brake lights. So I'll probably wire those up in my brake lights, which means they will be turn signals too as well uh, if I individually um, wire them like I, like I should. So anyway, that's what I got going on. And uh, like I said, quick video tonight. I uh, just want to give you a quick update what I got going on. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you.